Number 26. The following nuclei do not lie in the band of stability. How would they be expected to decay? And then explain your answer. Okay. So we got a calcium with a mass number of 38 and a atomic number of 20. Now, we all automatically know that it does not lie in the band of stability, so this has to be classified as an unstable or a radioactive material. So we have to figure out how is this guy going to become stable. Radioactivity, radioactive, yeah, that's better. Now, there's a couple of different methods, right? There's a beta emission where you're just letting out a electron into the atmosphere. There's a positron emission where you're just, you know, putting out a positron, which is the opposite of an electron into the atmosphere. You can uptake an electron or you can emit an alpha particle, which is helium. First things first, I would rule out the alpha emission because that generally is only used for big, 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 big atoms, right? When you have an atomic number that's greater than 83. Here, our atomic number is only 20. So let's rule that one out. Now, there's something called n to p ratios, whether you have a high n to p ratio or a low n to p ratio. Seems like that's the trick, right? We just got to know whether this ratio is high or low. Now, if you want to run through the actual ratio, we would have to find out the actual number of neutrons, that stands for the N, and protons, that stands for the P. But I got an even better way to do this, right? Because if you have a high N to P ratio, that just means in general that you have a high mass number. So high goes with high. If you have a high mass number, your N to P ratio is going to be way higher than what it should be. On the flip side, if you have a low n to p ratio, that means that you generally have a low mass number. So low mass numbers equate to low n to p ratios. But now the question is, how am I going to know whether the mass number, and remember that's always the higher number that's given on the nucleotide information. So in this case, the mass number is a 38. How am I going to know if that is roughly high or low? Right? Hi. 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 Or low. Well, enter in our favorite, you know, supplemental material for this, this uh, course, the periodic table. Now, on the periodic table, they give you the average atomic masses, which is all of the nuclides basically put together all in, you know, on Earth. But if I do look at calcium... I notice that the number that they give me for the mass is 40 point, on mine, it's 40.08. Which means that if I rounded this to the nearest whole number, that has to be a 40. This 40, and always for all of, all of the elements on the periodic table, the nearest whole number is always going to be the stable value. So this calcium wants to have a mass number of 40. Oh, but they gave me a mass number of 38 for ours. Now I know that that is way too low. I have an N to P ratio that is dropped, which means I got to bring it back up. So if that's the case, you either got two modes of decay. You have a positron emission, which is the B plus, or the beta plus, or you can capture an electron. Now, it's really, really hard to determine which one out of these two a um, nucleide will perform because they are two different things. Uh, this has to do with the lower activation energy of the, you know, of the decay mode. But generally speaking, I mean, if we're all talking about emissions and not captures, maybe I'll just say that this would be a positron emission. But, I mean... If you put down electron capture, it's the same exact idea. They're going to raise your N to P ratio. So we could either do a uh, positron emission or we could do electron capture, tomato, tomato. And that's the final answer. So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
Um, hit the like button, tell your friends, tell your classmates about this channel. We might be able to help them out as well. We also opened up memberships on the channel if you want more perks from us. Uh, you could always check that out. But thank you so much for your support, and I will be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.